To be busy or not to be busy? That is the question. It is. Martin Taggart with Team Real Estate here with Scott Willis. Scott's a little bit newer on our team, but has a lot of insight in our, in, into our industry based on what uh, in the industry his, his mom and dad were in, which was building custom homes and then a ton of residential real estate. But I didn't cut you any slack. You, no. you started off just like everybody else did. That's correct. Um, you got the same training everybody else did. Mm -hmm. In the first nine months of time with us, because you're just at month nine, how many closings have you been involved in? Six. Six. S so you're supposed to be poor and impoverished. Yeah, well, that's and, what I was told is to be prepared for that. <laughs> well, but it didn't happen. No. Why? You know, the system that's in place at Team Real Estate is what is really what makes a difference, you okay. know? Okay, it sounds like a shameless plug, Scott. No, no. I mean, the, the lead flow, the CRM, the uh, video tools that we use, mm -hmm. just everything is like readily available. And, and the training has been fantastic. And so you and Susie have done a fantastic job on that. Well, thanks. Because, you know, the, I, th I think that's, I can attribute that to my success up to this point. It's just, I know I have you guys to lean on and you guys have a ton of experience. And, uh, and again, all the systems are in place. All I have to do is just get myself plugged in. So the, the, the long and the short of it, I appreciate the plug. Sure. The long and the short of it is if you're willing to work and you're willing to be a part of a team to support you, you can be very successful at this. Yeah. Uh, more and more often you'll see lone rangers or lone agent, lone ranger agents not be successful or leave our industry very quickly because this is not always the easiest thing to do, but it is one of the simplest industries you'll ever be in with regards to success. There's five or six things if you do consistently will lead directly su to success. And there's five or six things that if you do consistently will lead directly to your failure. Mm. So there you go. So, so why, you're very busy. Yes. So I, I told you I was gonna ask this question off camera and you said you're gonna answer it honestly. <laughs> okay. So why should somebody out there choose a busy agent like yourself over somebody who's got a lot of time on their hands? Well, even as relatively new as I am in the business, um, I'm finding out that um, other agents don't always do everything correctly and I think a lot of times it has to do with the fact that they don't do it very often. You know, the, the people who aren't busy that are, you know, there's a ton of part-time realtors around here. Uh, a very small percentage of people are actually working so, at it full time. So let's throw, let's throw some mathing in here because I'm not, I'm not a huge mathing dude, but I'm a trending dude. So um, currently, Nationwide, about 7% of us do this full-time. 93% mm -hmm. of us do this part-time. The 93 percenters sell one home every 14 months on average. The 7 percenters sell way, way more than that. About 90% of the, of the total sales nationwide are done by the 7 percenters. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a bunch of us that are very busy, and then there's a huge amount of us that have nothing going on. And Scott nailed it right on the button. The busier you are, the better time you'll have, the faster time you'll have of getting really good at this. Um, that's a part of getting the reps in, which is getting you on the phone, responding to real leads mm -hmm. almost immediately, which is what we had you True. doing. Um, it's not a matter of looking for free phone work. It's a matter of helping Scott build relationships that will put him in a position to be of service to other people. So yeah. rather than the thought of you're building relationships to sell more, which actually making money at this is actually a byproduct of delivering service. Yeah, I think some of the questions I end up having from time to time, I'm looking at a listing and, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And, and usually the feedback is, is have you talked to the listing agent? And I'll call the listing agent and I'll find out that they act like they don't really know what okay. the heck's going so, on. So what's the, <laughs> what's the most unusual thing you've seen on, the, on a listing in a while? Or something that kind of made you scratch your head? Uh, a two-story ranch. <laughs> okay, for those of you that are not involved here, a ranch is a single-story dwelling. It's a single story, right? Single is denoted by the one. <laughs> a a, a, a two-story, in the name, it indicates more than one, typically the, the two. So, so the, the two-story uh, two ranch story, is, yeah. kind of, is kind of funny. Yeah, great. Um, my favorite is, uh, is the one where the directions are wrong. Oh. 
where yes, which happens according to our local board of realtors almost 30% of the time, which is, you would think, okay, the listing agent had to have been there more than once, we're hoping, mm -hmm. so they knew how to get there. Um, but I guess they just didn't want to put the directions down or maybe they figured the seller didn't want to be bothered with showings. I think, I I think maybe it's been so long since they listed a home that they forgot they were supposed to do that part more. Uh, all right, so. all right. So we have more sarcasm and irony along the way today. <laughs> so ending this opportunity, life is better with... Team Real Estate. Right on, have an awesome day.